So Ethereum is sitting at 25.28. And as I had mentioned to you yesterday, that uh, if $25, um, dollars, $2,500, $2,500 uh, hold, then Ethereum can go up. And um, its target is, um, I mean, we had several targets for it. We had 2600 27 28 and it only went to $2,600 and then it came down. But this is not a surprise. I have told you that it's going to make smaller moves in smaller ranges. It's not going to be big. It needs, <clears throat> it's going to do this boring stuff for two months. And two months is a long period of time. So you need to get used to these small moves and adjust accordingly. If you're doing leverage trading, it's sensible because from $2,600 up till now, this is a 1.2% down. <laughs> I'm sorry. So on a leverage of 20, that's like 22% or more. So that's a sensible trade. But um, if you are not using leverage, then trading this with a bigger margin, bigger capital would make sense on spot. Otherwise, um, all you can do is just wait. Um, but Ethereum is not doing much, but this is not just Ethereum. It's pretty much the rest of the crypto as well, uh, rest of the crypto market as well. And we are talking about from 12 December until today, which is 17. So it's been five days. It's moving like this. And of course, all of a sudden it will create another floor. It will be either up or down. We will see that, but um, it will um, do that. So it will then start living in that range. And that's why the market gets boring because it makes one abrupt movement. And then after that, it starts living in that particular range. So please be on the lookout. Um, don't get trapped into that uh, fallout or breakout if it's going to go against you. Um, in the ranges, it's easy because um, it's very obvious and you can trade it. You can get in and get out. But um, when that drop happens or when that pump happens, you don't want to be there. So please be on the lookout. And if you know how to use stop losses, please do that.